Hello, my name is Louise Fisher. I'm the Macmillan Supportive Care Coordinator at the Robert Ogden Macmillan Centre. What we know is that national and local cancer patient surveys tell us that two thirds of patients feel that emotional support is a vital element of their cancer care. One of the things we've introduced is a cancer support group on an evening. This is because some of our patients and their carers told us that they do require support but they're unable to come to the centre during the day. We cover a range of topics including advice about diet, financial advice, relationship issues. We don't always get everything right but we do listen to our patients. We're able to meet patients and speak to them as soon as they've been diagnosed and offer help and support right through their cancer journey. The rest of our video is patients and carers that use our services and I hope that puts into context for you some of the things that we do. My name's Alice, I'm 58 years old and I was diagnosed in March with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and I began my treatment in April this year. When I got the diagnosis I just thought right let's get on with it, let's get on with the treatment and everybody was very positive about it. I had three rounds of chemotherapy and 15 shots of radiotherapy and everything was going well until the last week of radiotherapy treatment when I just sort of came and melted down here at the Robert Ogden Centre because I was just suddenly hit with anxiety, depression and insomnia all at once and I'm not used to coping with those kind of feelings. It was, it's been devastating actually, it really has. It comes to a great shock to everybody really when Sheila was diagnosed and she'd had a lot of problems all through her life and the cancer was just the, the, the last thing that we'd expect that was going to happen to her and it was, it was devastating at first and, but with the, the help of the service the, it, it made it a little bit easier and we could um, we knew what was happening ourselves, so it was easier to explain to Sheila and to the family members. The whole atmosphere there is very friendly, very relaxed. They help, they even advise me about travel insurance if I want to travel. And when you declare um, that you've had cancer, travel insurance can be outweigh the cost of your airfare. I've had various sessions. I've had a wonderful treatment called therapeutic care which is a, a massage but on top of your clothes. And I actually thought that would feel a bit like not a very good, you know, half a massage. It actually feel, felt much better than a full body massage, which meant getting naked and felt like a, a medical treatment again. That this therapeutic care is lovely because it feels like somebody hugging you rather than about to do something medical to you. And the other thing that's been wonderful is the reflexology. Um, I thought that was more a foot rub than anything else. And it's had a really big relaxing effect on me. I would like to take the reflexologist home, but I can't. And they advised me to come across to uh, the Macmillan Centre, the Robert Ogden Macmillan Centre, within the grounds, and see uh, Thomas and Louise over there, which I did. And to my amazement, I was offered some complimentary treatments, reflexology, massage. Oh yeah, I like this. This is definitely me counselling sessions where I said things to these counsellors that even now I haven't spoken to my husband about, Stephen hasn't a clue of some of the things I've said but I knew I could go in that room, say what I wanted, come out, shut the door and it was safe there. I protected Stephen and I protected the boys. I think every town with a big hospital that deals with cancer should have a robot Ogden Centre. It's absolutely crucial. The, the only thing that I would like is that A, it was prescribed by the, the doctors over in the hospital as, as compulsory, because I don't think I would have suffered after the treatment as much as I did do. Um, and I also wish there was enough funding so that it could be open in the evenings and at weekends, because particularly when you're single, which I am with no family support, it would be lovely to be able to come on days when there's nobody else around. Very much important and, and that people should know where it is and what it does do. I advertise it to people. In fact, only the other week somebody was speaking to me in the street who's had treatment with a friend of mine and I advised them to come down here because it's been helpful for me and helpful for thousands of others and let's hope we can 
raise money and keep this place going as it is doing now? I just don't think I would be where I am now um, without the support of them because um, they've got me through and Stephen and my boys a time that I really didn't think I would get through. If somebody had to take it away from me now, I think I'd, they'd have to drag me out picking and screaming because you never know when cancer's going to come back. And I know that they're all there as my snuggy blankets and that um, I know that when I've got my scans coming up or I'm having other problems that may lead to cancer. I've had biopsies since, and I know that I can ring Robert Ogden and Pete Louise or Tom and say, can I come and have a treatment? And they're there to pick me up and brush me down and set me off for the next, for the next journey that happens, whether it be just scans or just general appointments, and it needs funding badly. It really needs funding so that other people can get to the stage in the journeys that I've got to in mind. I, I don't know, I can't, I can't put into words what, 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 they, what you all mean and what you've done. We'll never give it back. We just won't.